welcome to our road trip Yay. update number eight. Have we been having fun so far on our yeah. road trip, guys? Yeah. And you'll notice that Ashton's back with us. Um, la yesterday on our video update, yeah. Ashton wasn't feeling too well. But how are you feeling today, bud? Uh, way better. Way better. So we've been asked many times, how long have you guys been living on the bus? And uh, we'd have to go all the way back to November of 2015. And I believe it was, do you guys remember the exact date? Maybe November 21st? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. yeah, something like that. And that's when we first started. We moved into the bus and we've been living in it ever since. Total combined time that we've lived in the bus, we've estimated is now about three and a half years. Three and a half years, something like that. So. so we had a pretty amazing start to our day. We woke up and we were at the top of a mountain. Near the top. Yes. Fairly close to the top. Mm -hmm. At a place yeah. called Flagstaff. Yeah. In the morning, the kids all got out of the bus and kind of hiked around that area, climbed some big rocks. And uh, what, what were some of the things that we yes. saw? We saw some cactus. Yeah, that's right. We did see some green prickly cactus. And Elisha was going to climb up somewhere and put his hand right on one and had to pull yeah. some pricklies out of his hand. Did you see any cactus, Kira? Yeah, what color were they, Kira? Uh, green. Green. Yeah, green. Yeah. That's right. Where we were, we're really high. We can see like this open like city and like where we were, it was pretty cool. Um, there was lots of wildflowers all over the place. Yeah, and actually we still have our one's bouquet of flowers. Okay. And Kira, what was it that you found? A flower mommy. Yeah, you found flowers. We got back in the bus and decided to climb further up the mountain. It's just beautiful up here. So we are about to attempt to go up the rest of the mountain. Um, it's very steep, it's a little scary, but we're gonna bring you on this adventure with us. All just danger us. everywhere. Dangerous, danger of falling off cliffs, danger of your RV or bus not making it up the mountain and crashing, lots of danger around. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, look at the mirror. Hey there. I was breathing my deer and Nancy Drew and right when I read the word deer, everyone's like, deer, deer, guys, there's a deer. So we went further up the mountain and got up to like the next stage of the mountain where there's this like amazing overlook. I've never seen anything like this. Elisha saw a sign. What did the sign say, bud? It said we we're looking right into a bear's home. That we are looking right into a bear's home. Hey, don't get I'm seeing a drop off right here and there's mountains all over the place. They look really cool. So we're standing on the edge of the world here. There was a, a biker that we met and he was telling us that if we continued over the mountain and down the other side, that it would bring us back to Boulder, Colorado. And he told us it'd be less steep, maybe uh, a little more safe for the bus to drive down. We're like, yeah, actually safe sounds like a good plan. Let's yeah. do it. This is such beautiful scenery around here. I wish you guys could see it. Oh, wait a second. You
finally hit a dead end. But we're kind of glad we went that way because yeah. it was very, very pretty. Yeah. After we turned around and we came back, we came to a big lake where they had it dammed up. So it was really pretty seeing yeah. that. And we continued on back yeah. up the mountain again. Unfortunately, if there was a safe way down, or a more safe way down, we never discovered it. Had to go right back the same way we came up. Yes. <laughs> Which was an adventure in itself, I must tell you, wasn't yeah. it, guys? <laughs> yes, it was a little tedious yeah. making it down because some of these roads were very, very steep. It wasn't just that it was steep, it was that you had to take these really sharp turns. There was right. one point while we were going down and there was these rocks and we started, the bus started going over and sliding up against them and we thought we were going down the cliff or something Actually, I think Arwen and I were more scared than anybody, but Shane seems to have had everything under control. We're about halfway down the mountain right now and the scenery is just breathtaking. We made it to the bottom. And, and I was yes. happy to finally be down at the bottom. I was happy as well because when you're coming down, I think it's it was five miles of just straight down road. We enjoyed it, didn't yeah, we guys? We did. It See? was an adventure that I think we'll remember forever. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of had some snacks for lunch and then finally dinner came around and uh, so we had yummy pasta. Yeah. Yeah, we made spaghetti with the pink sauce and not everybody likes pink sauce so we had uh, spaghetti and butter and cheese for some of the kids and yeah. then we uh, had a yummy salad so it was good. Yeah. Okay, so then we got back on the road with our destination being Colorado Springs. Unfortunately, I was sick for the rest of the evening. Yeah, so we kind of chilled and took it easy. And, yeah. Our video update for tomorrow, I think you're going to find very enjoyable. Yeah, that's right. We had a cool day today. So you'll have to look forward to that tomorrow. So this is Bus Life with Nine, the Good News Bus and the Good Family signing out. <laughs> Bye! Bye.